Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. A young sea monster emerges from the bottom of the sea and ends up in a city where humans believe that all of his species are terrible and super dangerous creatures and now he will have to fight to survive the hunters. Today we will recap the movie, Luca, from 2021. In a small fishing town called Portoroso on the coast of Italy, people tell stories about sea monsters, and while some avoid the sighting areas, entire generations of fishermen hunt these humanoid monsters. Not knowing what humans think of his species, Luca, a small sea monster who works as a fish herder to help his mother, has the dream of one day knowing civilization, but as she has always forbidden him to have any contact with the humans, he takes advantage of the times he goes out to perform his tasks and looks for lost objects of civilization. One day, while looking for items in one of the sea crevices, Luca is spotted by a diver with a rusty diving suit and tries to hide, but ends up cornering on the rocks and is reached by the pursuer, but to his relief, the guy who is in the diving suit is not a human but Alberto, a sea monster just like him. After revealing his identity, Alberto takes the human items and begins swimming to a nearby island, and curious to know what the boy is doing, Luca begins to follow him. Seeing Alberto coming out of the water and becoming a human, Luca is extremely surprised because he didn't even know that was possible, and seeing the boy's reaction, Alberto pulls him to the surface to show that he can also look like that. Out of the water for the first time in his life, Luca despairs not understanding how he can look like a human, while Alberto tries to reassure him, but the boy is too shocked and decides to just go back into the water and pretend this never happened. After staying up all night thinking, the next morning Luca goes to the same island as before and tries to find the courage to get out of the water on his own will. For the first time, but Alberto arrives while he is hesitating, and says it was safe to leave, there were no problems. As he has never experienced gravity out of water before, Luca struggles to stay upright, but with Alberto's help, he soon manages to gain the ability. Finally on dry land, Alberto tells him that his father is traveling and that's why they'll be alone. He then begins to introduce Luca to human things, but nothing delights him as much as a pamphlet for the Vespa, the scooter of their dreams. Without having the money to buy one, Alberto and Luca decide to build their own scooter with the garbage they find in the ocean, and after hours of work they finally manage to assemble a beautiful work of art. However, Luca ends up staying on the surface for too long and has to run to get home. His mother starts a fight asking where he's been, but his grandmother tries to defend him by saying she sent him to get some sea cucumbers for her. The next morning, the boys meet again and decide to test their scooter, but while Alberto is going down the hill, the bike is dismantled into a thousand pieces and he barely scratches himself on the ground, managing to run down the ramp until he falls into the water. With their first motorcycle destroyed, the boys start to spend more and more time out of the water trying to improve their scooter, performing more and more tests and getting much closer. With another scooter finished, they have the brilliant idea of going down the hill together while a turtle serves as a support for the ramp, and the boys almost fall in the rocks. Noticing that their son is spending more and more time away from home, Luca's parents begin to follow him and upon discovering that the boy is going to the surface, they decide to send him to the abyssal sea to live with his uncle a weird guy who has transparent skin and his organs are on display. Refusing to go to the abyss, Luca goes to the island to tell Alberto about the argument he had with his parents, and after a brief conversation, they decide to flee to Portoroso. They then swim to shore and use a wrecked boat to infiltrate the city unseen. As soon as they arrive at the square, the boys pass a couple of fishermen, and seeing the hooks and fish in their hands, Luca panics, but is calmed by Alberto. After passing the men, they see a guy arriving with a scooter and decide to go there to talk to the owner, but a group of children throw the ball near them and ask them to kick it back. But while trying to do that, Luca, who has never played football, ends up kicking and hitting the scooter of Ercoli, an extremely smug and snobbish man who is furious that his Vespa got hit. Realizing that the ones who hit his vehicle are children, Ercoli starts bullying the boys and tries to stick Luca's head in the fountain, almost revealing his true form, but Julia appears and manages to save him at the last second taking the duo to safety on her bike. Away from danger, Luca asks the girl how he can get a scooter and Julia says that Ercoli made money by winning the Portoroso Cup, a triathlon where competitors swim, eat pasta and cycle through a course through the city. Seeing that Julia is determined to beat Ercoli after numerous losses in a row, Luca has the idea of teaming up and invites her to form a team. With the trio officially formed, Julia starts doing some tests to see who will get what role, and as they can't get wet, the boys pretend not to know how to swim, so that she can take on this part of the task, and with that, Luca takes over the role in cycling in Alberto, the food competition. With the roles defined, Julia takes the boys home and introduces them to her father Massimo, a fisherman who lives hunting sea monsters, but seeing the man's determination to capture the members of his species, 
Luca is scared and ends up spitting the water in Alberto's face, causing him to transform in front of everyone. While having dinner, Julia tells her father that they have formed a team and asks for money to register, but Massimo says that he is not catching many fish lately and therefore will not be able to help them. However, as they know everything about the marine life in the region, Alberto and Luca offer to help with the fishing. The next morning, while Julia practices her cycling, the pair of friends go fishing with Massimo in a place with practically no fish, and after fighting the cat, Luca tells the fisherman that this place is a haunted cemetery and that fish avoid this region. So, Alberto gives the location of a place where fish usually stay and following the boy's tips, Massimo manages to fill his boat. After fishing, Luca, Alberto and Julia run to the cup registration desk, but Ercoli suddenly arrives, accompanied by Guido and Siccio, and steals their money. To recover the registration fee, Alberto challenges Ercoli to a fight, but Julia and Luca start to provoke him, offending his ridiculous mustache. Feeling challenged, Ercoli returns the money to Luca and together they apply. With this step completed, the trio starts to practice, and while Julia is practicing swimming, Arcoli starts speeding towards them to break their boat, but Guido turns the engine at the last second to avoid the collision. But the drift they made ends up splashing water that wets Alberto's face, causing him to enter his sea monster form. While Julia goes to complain to Arcoli, Luca takes the towel to try to cover his friend, but ends up dropping him in the water by accident, making Arcoli see his tail. At the same time, Luca's parents notice his absence and decide to go to Portoroso to look for him, pushing the children into the sea and knocking them into the fountain while playing football. After almost being discovered, the boys start to return to Julia's house, when Luca hears his mother's laughter and sees her in the square throwing the children in the water. Afraid of being found by his parents and taken to the abyss, Luca starts to tell his friend what he saw, but Massimo appears and calls Alberto to help with the net, leaving Luca and Julia alone. The boys start talking and Julia tells him about her school, and realizing that the boy liked astronomy, she decides to take him to a telescope where together they start to observe the solar system and the stars. In her room, Julia shows her books to Luca, who falls in love with knowledge, getting more and more excited and wanting to go to school to study, wanting to make more and more discoveries. Luca asks him to borrow the astronomy book, but Julia decides to give it to him as a gift. At that moment, Alberto finally comes back in, jealous to see Luca and Julia getting closer, he calls his friend for a walk. They then start walking around the city until they arrive at the dealership where the long-awaited scooter is. On the way, Luca tells Alberto about his discoveries and tells him that the stars are actually huge balls of fire and not anchovies like they thought, but the jealous boy belittles everything Luca says and changes the subject to his desired scooter. Luca then says that maybe school was cooler than a motorcycle, but Alberto discourages him by saying that he will never be accepted at school after they discover his fish side. At that moment, Arcoli arrives throwing a harpoon in the direction of the boys and orders his henchmen Guido and Siccio to hold Alberto, while he lands some punches in the boys' stomach, but Luca takes the harpoon and threatens to hurt them if they don't stop, making the trio release his friend. Freed, the boys run back to Julia's house where they sleep safely. As the days go by, the friends train and get better every day, with Luca training his pedaling speed up the slopes of the city, carrying heavy loads without breaking a sweat. But as the days go by, Luca and Julia spend more and more time together, studying things like zoology, astronomy and various other sciences, making Alberto feel increasingly left out and extremely jealous. Two days before the triathlon, Luca leaves with his bike carrying Alberto and Julia to train, but when he passes through the square he finds his parents sitting by the fountain and to escape them he takes a shortcut that takes him straight to the top of the hill. At the top, Julia shows the boys the train that takes them to the city of Genoa where her school is located, and Luca asks if he could go to school too. Furious at the idea of his friend leaving, Alberto interrupts the conversation and tells Luca to go down. Realizing that the boy is afraid to go down the steep hill, Julia tries to reassure him, but Alberto once again interrupts, climbs on the bike and starts to descend the mountain at full speed, almost colliding with pedestrians and falling straight into the sea. To get out of the water without being seen, the duo starts swimming to a deserted beach where a totally furious Luca starts fighting with Alberto leading to a general argument. At that moment, Julia finally finds them and Luca decides to ask to go to school with her, and in a totally selfish attitude, Alberto shows Julia that he is a sea monster, trying to make her afraid of them both, but Luca pretends not to know nothing and screams for help to deal with that scary monster. Arriving home, the boy starts to panic thinking about what could happen to Alberto. In an attempt to calm her friend down, Julia throws water on him, discovering that he too is a sea monster. With his dreams ruined, Luca decides to swim to the island where he finds the tower completely destroyed and Alberto extremely upset at the top. 
While watching the destruction in the place, Luca finds some marks on the wall and when he goes to talk to Alberto about it, he finds out that that was the count of days since his father left, that is, Alberto was alone on the island for several years until Luke showed up. Trying to cheer up his friend and get the scooter, Luca decides to go back to town and race alone the next morning. As he can't get wet, Luca puts on that old diving suit and goes to the starting line. Dishonest as always, Arcoli takes advantage of the fact that the race hasn't started yet and starts smearing Siccio with olive oil so that he slides better in the water and manages to get first, but in the middle of the course the anchovies are attracted to the oil and start nibbling all over the boy's body, causing him to slow down and take last place. While the athletes swim, Luca walks along the ocean floor with the diving suit, but the pressure ends up breaking the glass causing water to leak through the crack. When he comes out of the water, Luca tries to hide his face so no one can see his sea monster form, but Arcoli puts his foot in front of him causing him to fall and lose his helmet, but he still manages to hide his appearance. Arriving at the pasta stage, Luca encounters difficulties as he has never used a fork before, but Julia who is currently in first place decides to help him. In the last place, Siccio finally arrives at the beach and Guido takes his place in the pasta dispute eating as fast as he can, but when he realizes that Julia has already gone to the bike, Arcoli cheats once again and takes the pasta in his hand putting everything in once in the boy's mouth. After finishing eating, Luca, who is now in last place, finally gets to the part he trained the most, the cycling. Even though he was behind and with a very old bike, Luca managed to quickly recover some positions until he reached first place, but things couldn't be that easy. When Luca is reaching the top it starts to rain, and without being able to get wet the boy is hidden under a cover losing his advantage to Arcoli. At that moment, Alberto arrives with an umbrella to help his friend, but when he sees him, the damn Ercoli starts pedaling towards him and kicks the boy, dropping the umbrella and revealing his true form. Upon discovering that the boy is a sea monster, Arcoli decides to go back and throw a net at him to try to capture him and get a reward. Seeing that his friend is in danger, Luca leaves the dry spot and starts pedaling to save him, revealing to everyone that he too is a sea monster. He then puts Alberto on the bike and together they start down the mountain while being chased by Ercoli and Julia. On the way down, Arcoli tries to hit the boys with his harpoon several times, and realizing that it's only a matter of time before her friends are eliminated, Julia decides to throw herself at her opponent, causing him to fall and dismount along with his bike. Seeing Julia lying on the ground, instead of running away, the boys decide to go back to help her, but they are spotted by Massimo who takes a harpoon and runs after them to eliminate them. At that moment, the entire population begins to surround them, including Arcoli. However, Realizing that the monsters are trying to help his daughter, Massimo notices that they are Luca and Alberto and decides to defend them, declaring that the boys are the winners for having crossed the finish line first, but Arcoli immediately rejects saying that they are not even human. The judge then says that technically they crossed the finish line first and that's why they are the winners. Still, Arcoli wants to capture them for the reward, but seeing that a man the size of Massimo is beside the boys, all the hunters decide to just leave them alone leaving Ercoli alone and being rejected even by Guido and Siccio. At that moment, Luca's parents finally meet him again after so long, and see him being rewarded by humans. As the prize money is not as much as they expected, Luca and Alberto buy an old beat-up scooter to ride around town. Now with humans living in harmony with the sea monsters, everyone starts to live in peace in Portoroso, but as the holidays are ending, Julia needs to go back to her mother's house in Geneva and to school. At the train station, the boys go to say goodbye to their friend, and after Julia gets on the train, Alberto tells Luca that he sold the scooter to buy a ticket to Geneva, so that his friend can also study. At that moment, Luca's parents arrive with his suitcase saying that everything is already confirmed and that he will stay at Julia's mother's house. Luca then calls Alberto to get on the train and go to Geneva, but the boy decides to stay with Massimo to help him fish. After an extremely emotional farewell, Luca then boards the train and leaves for Geneva to fulfill his dream of visiting the school together with Julia. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.